Good day students. Today I want us to look at question 9 very briefly and in a certain way from the paper that was written today, the 4th of November 2022 by metric students who were in many ways fighting tooth and nail if not biting the dust because of this perennial problem. In my own view, this problem caused some kind of pandemonium in the exam room. Without sounding condescendingly modest, let's do it together. What are they saying? Question 9, they are saying that you are given the function f at x, that is equals to x squared. Determine the minimum distance between the point, the point, get that, it's in the first quadrant, and that is 10 and 2, and at least the point on f. So let's try to really visualize this situation together. If I were you, I would try to sketch this function and really see what is... Uh, what is happening if i am to try to sketch it this graph is really going to behave like this and by the way this situation is going to be in the first um um i mean it's going to be in the origin so to say so i'm trying to sketch this graph for you check this is how the graph uh, looks like and then now i want you to observe something just right here let me enlarge this line but still make it um, to cast to cut through the origin. Let me have that point they are talking about there. That is the point, um, let's call it um, 10 and 2 there. Check something here. Um, if, if you are to take any x value or any point on f, please get that. This is the point, this is the graph of f I mean to say. If you are to take any x value, um, just right here, by the way, this is going to be at, um, at 10, and then here you are going to have at least um, a y value of 2. Check something just right here. If now I'm um, to take any point in this particular graph of f, think about it. When, when, when um, x is 1, y will be 2. When x is 2 in this graph, y would be 4. Because this graph is really, um, its y value is primarily a perfect square of its x value. That means you're going to have 1 and 2 and 2 and 4, 3 and 9. So I'm going to say to myself, the point on f that they're talking about, it has to come from this situation. But because this graph is a parent graph, I'm going to get uh, x and x squared as a point. Such that... Um, any point on f, its y value is a perfect square of the parent graph. By that, I mean, if now you are to have um, at this particular point, let me just uh, plot this point there. At that point, if x, um, if x is 4, its y value is going to be a perfect square of 4. That means you're going to get a, a, a 16 in that way as a parent graph. So the point they're talking about on f is primarily x and x squared. So they are looking for that distance between these two um, points, primarily the minimum one. All right. So check how you should really approach this question. I will say to myself, let me find the distance between uh, these two points. And if I'm to do this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. How do you do that? You say that um, this is going to be x minus a 10. You square that and then plus a x squared minus 2. You also square this situation. Please, guys, get that um, this situation is going to be true if and only if um, this, I mean, d squared is equals to x minus 10. And then all squared plus x squared minus a 2 all squared. This is going to be true if this situation is like this. All right. I hope that you know. Now, I'm going to try by all means to expand this one and see what do I get. And please, guys, check the marks. Now, the max was eight marks. So it's it's worth, um, it's worth all types of analysis. All right. Let's try to expand it. I'm going to get, um, let's check. We're going to get uh, x squared minus 20 x and then plus 100, let me just put 100 properly. And then uh, plus, if you try to expand this, this is going to be x to the power 4. And then minus, um, this situation is going to be what? 
it's going to be uh, 4x uh, squared and then a plus 4. If you try to group the like term here, you're going to get x with the power 4. And then um, you're going to get minus uh, 3x to the power 2 minus a 20x and then a plus 104 is 104 so you're going to get a 104 all right that is really going to be your d squared and uh, check something d squared it's it's a function of x so you can say that uh, this is a d squared of x so you want to find the minimum distance of this one how do you then do that you have to go back to your derivative that uh, say maybe now you have a function which behaves like this you know the minimum we're talking about um, this point all right so you get that derivative so but for this graph it's a um, it's a four big graph because of that power of four so if you are to sketch it you'll see that uh, it's really going to uh, behave like that but the sketching of it is not important on the primers of the fact that um um they, they just want the minimum distance. So you're going to apply the calculus situation to say that um, the minimum distance will be d squared. You take the derivative of this function, all right? And that stuff must be equal to zero. That's where the minimum situation is going to occur. So if you do this, you're going to get um, 4x cubed and then what? My, minus 6x and then uh, that should be minus 20 is equal to zero. Think about it. If you want to really solve for x here, you can first somehow reduce this equation to say, let me divide by 2. I'm going to get a 2x cubed and then minus um, 3x and then minus 10 if you divide throughout by 2. And this will be, um, this will be what now? Let's check if you can try to factorize this. I think you have learned uh, what we call the, the factor theorem. All right. So let me use the factor theorem just uh, in my mind. And if I'm to do it, uh, let's check. Uh, I'm going to get, um, if I put negative 2 here, I'm really going to get a, a 0. So that means, um, no, positive 2. So this should be negative 2 if we try to factorize that. And the other one should be 2x um, squared, such that if you multiply with that, it must give you this one. I hope you know how to do this. And then this will be plus 4x if you want to use the inspection method. And then a plus positive 5. I hope you know how to factorize this stuff using a factor theorem. And this whole stuff must be 0. Therefore, x is going to be equal to 2 or 2x and then a squared plus 4x plus 5 must be 0. But notice something that uh, the discriminant here is less than zero you know that means there is no solution for this problem so you can write that uh, no solution for this one it means that the only x value here is positive two so look they are looking for the minimum distance so you are going to substitute it uh, from this uh, polynomial here to say that let me copy uh, this situation to say that uh, this will be um, my goodness, let me just uh, put it up. So I'm going to plug 2 here to say that the minimum distance is going to be equal to uh, d squared of... Um, in fact, I may just uh, need to say, well, this is going to be 2. If you substitute 2, that is going to be 2 to the power of 4 minus 3 into 2 minus 20, but you must square that into 2 and then plus 1 or 4. As a result, you are going to get uh, 68. So therefore, you can say that um, the minimum uh, distance is going to be equal to 68 units. This is how I'll go uh, about this question. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, share and like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then I'll upload the full memo of the whole paper because I have received it. I will upload it um, by the end of tomorrow, the 5th of November 2022. Thank you very much.